Do you know anything about patience, bro? Bro, what is your problem? Why do you have to suck so much? All of our dogs are for, up for adoption, guys. I don't know what we're gonna do, Chandler. I don't know. Do you know? I think this is a bigger one. Ooh. You would never guess that this thing is venomous. So this guy. Ooh. Hey, Kel. How you doing, bro? What'd you say? What? Good morning. Oh, you look beautiful this morning. <laughs> Hello. What are you freaking crackheads doing? You're waiting to chase your mom when she goes to Starbucks? Oh, here comes the other freaking lunatics. Great. Oh yeah, here we come. Over here, trouble's coming. All right, let's go, creatures. You wanna eat? You hungry? You guys hungry? Let's go. Hey, listen, all you guys. Let's go. You guys ready for some food? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. All these birds. Oh, yeah. Every day. It's crazy. You guys ready to eat? Yes? Let's go. Let's get some food. Come on. Man, what an absolutely frustrating day, honestly, it has been so far. I know this video just started for you guys, but we are already a few hours deep into the day. And it's been absolute chaos over here. Hurricane season goes all the way to the end of November and there is a hurricane brewing on the other side of Florida right now in the Gulf and it has brought just an insane amount of horrible weather over here for the last couple of days. Later today, it's supposed to be really windy again. Last night, it was extremely windy. Ended up blowing my gate open. It ripped the hinges off of the freaking gate. Which, keep in mind, actuators for my gate were $3,500. Completely ripped them out of the concrete, okay? Breaking open the gates. We checked the cameras this morning. Gianna checked them. From 5 a.m. to 8 a.m., those freaking gates were wide open, which is not good because the emus are awake by then. The emus could have easily ran out there, got hit by a car, or just ran around the neighborhood or whatever. Not freaking good. And now, it is raining again. Awesome. Had a whole game plan for today too, and now I have to reset a little bunch of stuff and just move some things around because that really put a little damper on this morning. Was not expecting a whole gate situation to happen. I promise this video is gonna get better. We're going over to Chandler's house today, and that's what this video is gonna be about. We're gonna go do some stuff over there, but first we're uh, we're just checking out the damage. Are you freaking serious, dude? Now there's no eggs in there. Gianna's not even gonna believe what just happened. So I was on my way over there to show you Gobble's Nest because one of the chicken eggs hatched and Richard must have came and ate a freaking chicken. And now, now there's no eggs, so Hannibal must have eaten all of them. Yeah, but do you know what just happened? There's no more eggs in there. I swear to God. I swear to God, there's no more eggs in there. Go look in that nest. There's not a oh, single egg in there. So we got another little nest <laughs> over here. <laughs> this has got to be, these are ducks right here. Those are, that's a duck nest. All of our dogs are for, up for adoption, guys. You guys want a dog? Come get them, pull up, get it free. Hannibal comes with a leash, comes with a water bowl. Wiener dogs, Shiva. Shiva's got a couple years left. She can spend them with you guys. Bro, what is your problem? Why do you have to suck so much? Huh? Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. you having a hard time getting out of there? You pain in the ass? Yeah, get your mom wet. Yeah, go over there, get her wet. I'm so sorry, Gobbles. Your okay. poor babies, I'm sorry. I gotta get all these gates up. I have everything to do it for the most part. I just need some freaking time, some days off. Like you just saw, I have all the freaking posts to do the fencing around the chickens. Really want to fence off this whole part too. So the whole back of the property, I want fenced off. So that way the dogs can stay away from everybody else because they just, 
They run a freaking muck, dude. So Gianna had a pretty good idea. She went and took a bunch of the eggs that were in the chicken coop. And she put them under where Gobbles is right now. So hopefully Gobbles goes back in there and she doesn't get too upset about it. She's walking around the nest right now. Let's go watch this real quick. Hey, look at sad Gobbles out there. Oh man, it's heartbreaking. I do not like it. Oh, we got some Rhode Island red eggs. We got some Easter eggers right there. Those blue ones. Nice. The silkies are the small ones right there. And then this chicken right here I think is laying an egg as we speak. There we go. Got some more eggs now for you. All right, I've had enough of this shit over here. If you guys want the dogs, pull up, come get them. Okay, so a couple more things I gotta do before we can leave. Let's feed Chaka Man real quick. Hey, dude, let me open up your door. Excuse me, sir. Will you chill? Relax, dude. Patience. Do you know anything about patience, bro? You're just so hungry, you crazy little man. So cute. Remington keeps mooing at me. Maybe we can get one on camera. It's so cute. You telling me that you're hungry, baby? Huh? You want some food, Remy? Huh, my love? Huh, baby Rem? Would you like some food, my sweet girl? Let's go, let's give you some food. Oh, yeah, you get a head nod. Oh, you excited? Here we go. Eesh. You guys are hungry, huh? And I only share these things with you guys to be as transparent as possible and just fill you guys in on what actually happens. Dogs are dogs, birds are birds, things eat each other, things die, things get sick, they get lost, they fly away, all sorts of things happen. Part of living that homestead life, and if people tell you otherwise, they're just lying to you. Oh, and to top things off, now my brother just called me, and I guess the storm knocked all the power out in the building where the shop is. So we have no AC, no power, no nothing. We got people that need to go get tattooed today. Property manager isn't answering, all sorts of fun stuff. What a day so far. We're finally at Chandler's. Let's go have some fun. Insert Jurassic Park music here. Oh, it's my favorite part. Shut up, truck. Hey, guys. <laughs> Timmy, cameo. Hello, my nephews. Sweet man, it's good to see you too. Hello. Timmy's out running around being a freaking crazy man. But Camillo. Oh, you're the sweetest one. You're my favorite. Yes. Oh, yes, you are the favorite. Oh, you sweet boy. I gotta help your dad clean stuff, okay? I don't know what we're gonna do, Chandler. I don't know. We do gonna, you know? We're gonna clean some snacks. Clean oh, some cages. I don't, I don't know what's happening. Yeah, maybe we'll just do a sing along. Clean some cages, we I gotta some, clean uh, black the Black Mamba poop clean if you wanna help me with that. Black Mamba poop, let's get some Black Mambas oh, out. Oh, yeah, let's start with, uh, let's like pre-game ourselves. Let me, um, maybe I can handle some things that aren't as deadly as the Black Mambas. We'll clean some like not so crazy cages and then we'll end the video cleaning the Black Mambas. Right? Does that yeah. sound like an idea? That sounds kind of safe. Maybe we could sing in between still or something. What do you want to start with? Green mambas? Know. Yeah, let's start with green mambas. Yeah, that's yeah. not too bad. I gotta clean yeah, these guys. Cool. I yeah. found that these guys rather eat chicks over rats. They've been kind of like avoiding all the little mean rats I put in there. So really? they've been slamming little little chicks. So uh, two green mambas in here. Slamming you can put chicks. Them in this can. <laughs> oh, this is gonna get you It's gonna be interesting. All right, I'm gonna hand the freaking camera out to Chandler and. Put my life in jeopardy for you guys. Mambas, green mambas. Now I had green mambas. You guys probably remember. I mean, some of you probably remember. But uh, when I found out Gianna was pregnant, I just didn't want to keep them at my house because we had them in my actual house. You know what I mean? Just wanted to keep things nice and safe for the Ooh. girls. They're a little bit on the on the fast side. Dingo's right, they actually do sound like little witches. It's like a little witches? Yeah, you say it sounds like a witch's hiss, that's what he would say. Witch's hiss? They yeah, do yeah. Have they like go. Little... If you guys did not know, mambas do have this little tiny growl that they do. It's pretty cool. We get a little close to my hand, let me back my hand up. There we go. Yeah, I think this is the bigger one. Yeah, these guys are pretty chill though. Not bad at all. These guys came from Dingo too. I think yeah, yeah. Yeah, came from the same batch as, as mine. Same bloodline. Yeah. McCarthy has mine over by my house. They got huge. And I think he actually bred them too, right? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure McCarthy's uh, 
Let's produce some. Let's go ahead and put the first one down there. Secure that. I'm keeping an eye on this one. So there's two of them in here. So let's go ahead and just slowly get the other one out nice and smoothly like that. Of course, he's got to wrap himself around this little freaking palm tree in there and make it a little bit more difficult. Excuse me, sir. There we go. Super pretty. Oh yeah, I love them. These Eastern Green Mambas are nice. And you got like some special locality. Yeah, no, they are uh, nice and green. I had a Jameson a long time ago too. Those are probably my favorite green ones are the Jamesons. The freaking tails are so cool. Yeah, you can get them in blue. Yeah. That's really cool. Here we go, get you tangled. There we go. Nice and safe, guys. Perfect. So let's go in here, let's get this stuff out. Clean these spicy meaty bowls. Yeah! Yeah. And do some more song. Oh yeah. Ooh, it has like a uh, a maple a maple smell to it. You know what else has like a maple? It's weird how like certain snakes have like their poops smell different. This poop, green mamba poop, smells just like zebra spitter poop. For some reason. Really? Spitters. I've never kept zebra spitters. Yeah, they have like that. You know how black throat monitors zebra. smell like maple syrup? Uh, it's very similar. You know how black throat monitors smell? You had a black throat? I've never had maple Didn't syrup pancakes. Didn't it smell like maple syrup? What the I've hell? I've never had the privilege of eating maple syrup oh, pancakes. shut up. You know you've had plenty of pancakes with syrup on it. That's what it smells like for you guys wondering what this smells like right now. Maple syrup. You can't eat it. It smells delicious, but it does not taste Privilege, delicious. maple syrup Thank eating you. son of a bitch I've ever had in my life. Yeah, whatever. Get that fresh H2O, baby. <laughs> Mr. Spot. Mm -hmm. Let's put him back. See how we got him in here. Both at the bottom. Very nice, very nice. Oh, you got a twofer. You got a little twofer, man. You think I can get them twofer? Are they both? Oh, they're heading different ways. Are they? Oh, yeah, their heads are different ways. Dang. So I got the cage cracked a little tiny bit. Hopefully, we can just get them to look. See, your cage is open. So go right into it while I watch the trash can. Make sure nobody gets out or gets bit. All right, the other one's just chilling there. Being a nice little mamba, you're being so well behaved today. Thank you so much. My daughter would appreciate it. Beautiful. They are so freaking cool. I love them. I need to get them in a bigger cage. Yeah, they're cool. I need Vision to hook me up and send me some free cages. Yeah, Vision, what's up, dude? Wake up. Hook my boy Chandler up, Vision. We need some more cages, dog. Seriously, it's getting ridiculous. So now for Mr. Stevie, the Taipan. Inland Taipan. Crazy little guy, and drop for drop, the most venomous snake in the world will kill you real fast. So let's uh, make sure that he's doing okay and take his little butt out. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna get grab that little, little poop right there. This little loop right here. Go nice and slow, nice and slow. Let's see here. Ready? Let's go right back here. Oh, perfect. That's about right there. Oh, oh, oh. Excuse me, sir. Oh, look at that orange belly. What a pretty freaking snake, too. I love them. So I love cool. all the taipans. Real fast, real squirrely. Got all the dangerous stuff over here, man. I was trying to do a video the other day of like the top three most venomous stuff in my collection. And I don't have anything too crazy over my house. You got all the serious venomous stuff like the King Brown, Inland Taipan. Got all sorts of wild stuff over here. Look at little Stevie. What a cool freaking snake. You would never guess that this thing is venomous. Very, very cool. They don't really have the telltale venomous looking head or anything like that. They're not even really bright color. Just looks like a regular little snake. So we'll go ahead, plop him right in the holding receptacle. Little man, there you go. Thank you for behaving. Now let's clean your cage, dude. Got little tiny smiles for me, balls, little snakes, got little tiny poops. There we go, here we go. I like to fluff and give the cage a nice good fluff. Yeah, I fluff didn't bring it. Brandon over here, but we like to fluff it. It looks all nice. 
and then they can pack it all down and they slither around. There we go. It just looks really nice and beautiful. I gotta get Chandler one of those little vacuums that I got for these things. I'll bring one over next time I come. Oh, please do. So I got these little vacuums on Amazon. It's just this tiny little pocket vacuum. You just shoot all the stuff right out of here. Thing works freaking awesome for these tracks. Oh, look at that. We got a baby king cobra here too. What Wait. the f <laughs> Where the hell did you come from? Wow, it's like a mini Kevin. Nice and clean. Look at that. Beautiful. I would live in it, would you? So let's get Stevie. Wow, look at him all the way up top like that. Crazy. And if you guys weren't aware, it was Steve Irwin Day like what, two days ago? Oh yeah. Steve Irwin Day, that's an actual thing. Hi hey, Stevie. Let's get you back in the cage. So we're gonna put you in like this. Get you point it back, and then we're gonna put the glass on like this. Just to make everything nice and safe. Beautiful. Secure! Secured. Always gotta check. Time for the buzz butts, man. Let's go ahead, safely open this one. Let's see how you're acting today, dude. There we go. There we go. Okay, look at you. Yeah, here me and show. Always wanna take extra precaution, especially when you're working with snakes that you don't really get to work with that often, you know? Obviously, I'm very familiar with my snakes. I know how they act. Don't exactly know how most of Chandler's snakes are. So you just wanna use extra precaution, you know? But that one was, he's acting great today. So the other one, the male you said is a little bit of a jerk? Yeah, he's very defensive. Defensive snake, typical. Really pretty though, I love the full stripe on this one. Oh yeah. Very, very cool. From McCarthy's Wildlife Sanctuary. Yeah, I have, um, I think I have, the one that I have is from the same clutch. I don't know what the sex is, though, but there we go. Yeah, look at that stripe. That is a pretty, pretty thing. Yeah, look at that. Solid stripe. It's not even unbroken or anything. That beautiful is snake. Beautiful. He's just a pig, he eats so much. Yeah, he's nice and thick. Mine I actually had to put on a, uh, a bit of a diet <laughs> once he uh, got back to my house because he was just getting real thick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one eats good. Yeah, dude, he's a great eater. I love, dude, even the pattern on this one. Such pretty things. Very, very cool. Drop a like on this video for the camera quality. This yeah. camera's amazing. Mm, oh, yeah. Chandler likes my camera. Should Chandler up his camera game, guys? Definitely. I mean, like, everything comes out so nice. Yeah, you know, I was just using the iPhone for so long, I figured my, my viewers just deserve some higher quality footage, you know what I mean? Especially at the ranch with all the animals and stuff. Outside is awesome. Inside, it's like whatever, but outside this camera, primo. Put him back. Let's see, so the female is the one with the pattern. Go ahead and get you out. There we go. Put you back in here like that. You got some nice fresh water, nice clean substrate. There you go. Give you a little pickle. Now this guy. Hello, there. Ooh. Okay, you got a little strike on you. All right. Get you in here. There you go. Thank you, sir. Close with my hook. Beautiful. Locked and secure, baby. You, Mama time. Mamba time! All right, Kobe. Kobe, Kobe, Kobe. How are you doing today, my dude? Black Mambas are freaking awesome, man. I really wish, like, I just, at my house, man, dude, I'm running out of room. Like, honestly, like, all these other snakes that I want, like, I would love to have Mambas again in the future. Now that I have a building that's outside of my house, you know, it makes more sense. I didn't want Mambas inside my house, the book house, so I got rid of them. But now, eventually I would like Mambas again, but, Probably gonna have to build another building or something. I'm working on it. Comment down below, guys. I need some contractors that wanna work with me, okay? I got the shed on the side of my house that needs to be completely ripped down and redone. You wanna trade for tattoos, something like that? Holler at your boy, let me know. Let's build some stuff. Kobe, so he's got a dirty water bowl. He's got poop all over his cage. I am gonna do this the smart way, especially when you're working with snakes like mambas that like to wrap around things when you're taking them out like the other ones just did. You saw that before. What I like to do is I like to take everything out of the enclosure first. That way there's nothing for him to hang up on and make it more difficult for me to get him out. I don't want to have to pull on this snake to get him off of anything. So, 
going to get all this stuff out of the way. Just like that. He's being a nice little man, just chilling. Now, wow, he's got some size. Bro, he's though. big. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's he good. eats and poops and eats and poops. Oh, yeah, look how big he is now. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. You. Bro. Woo. Oh, yeah, he's getting some size, dude. Holy crap. And now, another thing that mambas do that I totally forgot about and I should have thought about before I started this. But, see my watch? See how I have a watch on today? He's wrapping his tail around my watch. He's trying to steal your Rolex. And sometimes that can be very dangerous because if the snake actually gets their tail under your watch and something happens, whoo, look at that freaking snake. You can get caught up on your watch and then you'll get hurt. So you Ooh. Be real careful. So we got a mouth open on that one. What a beautiful freaking snake though. So let's go ahead, put him in here nice and carefully. Of course, he's gonna come out a little bit, so we're just gonna whoop, drop him down. Put the top on the clip. Boom, boom, boom. It's on there, right? Yep, locked. Secured and safe, baby. Cool. Now let's get this guy, he's got a whole lot of poop in here. Let's get this guy all nice and clean. Yeah, we'll We got some water, we got that, we got some poop on here. Let's get all this stuff off of there. All these little fuzzies. Ooh, look at this. Alright, there we go. Cool. But why is this in here? You don't fit under here. It's right? just, this, a, this is just, it just looks nice. Just Kobe. Let's go, dude. Of course, he's at the top and his mouth is open. So watch out, Shane. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get this back part right here. Of course, he's gonna come out that way. Here we go. Just like that. I do. Face to face with the black mamba. Let's go back in your home. Wow, he's big. Dude, he's getting huge, bro. He eats like a piece. Dude, I remember when he was just a little tiny boy. He's gonna need a six foot vision. Oh yeah. You hear that vision? Yeah, I wanted- So let's get Chandler one, all right guys? Yeah, I wanted to get like four more of these giant ones, but uh. At least send you glass for the one you have outside, you know? Yeah, look at, I don't him, know. Look at him, Look at him flattening out his neck like that. So freaking cool when they do that. Who knew that? Black mamas flatten out their necks like cobras. Not only do they open their mouth, which is jet freaking black. They flail their neck out just like a cobra too. She's pretty cool. All right, there we go. Just need a lock. Look. Here we go. Lock and secure. Beautiful. Well, let's check out how Kevin's doing in here. Okay. Get his water. Get some moisture. Oh, he's right here. Look at that. Hey, dude. Good boy. Hey, Kev. How you doing, bro? How you doing today, dude? Just hanging out over here, chilling, getting big. So now he's eating good again, right? Yeah, he just likes to. He loves to eat his pythons. He wasn't eating Burmese pythons for a while. I had to get uh, all pythons that were gifted from like breeders and stuff that passed away. Mm. But uh, is, he, is he eating worms again? Yeah, he ate some small worms. I need to get some bigger ones. Oh, though. good. He ate some yeah. small ones for Halloween. Very cool. Very cool. Bro, he's such a yeah, the beasties looks good. Back to being nice and thick and full. I love that. How you doing, buddy? Hey, buddy. You wanna come say hello, Kevin? Mm -hmm. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. What's going on? Big, beautiful king cow where he's like, you got food for me? Huh? Yeah, he's like, yeah, I'm smelling it, but I don't smell nothing. How you doing, dude? Okay! Spectacle Cobra time. Nasha, nasha. Let's go, baby. And apparently, this one is not very nice. So let's see how you're going to act today. Go for that loop right there. Oh, hey, go. Oh, this is the one with like the blue hood though. Oh yeah. I remember you. You're freaking awesome. All right, here we go. He's good size too. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, this one, I forgot. Check this out guys. Look at the freaking hood. Let's see if we can get him to not be so crazy for a second. Like snowflake blue, bro. What? That thing is so- It's cool. moving so fast I can barely get- Right, relax. relax. All right, well, 
We try. You guys get the drift. Let's go ahead. Put them in there, nice and safely. Good. There we go. Let's clean some poop. Oh, a bunch, of, a bunch of poop in there. How much money to just chug it right now? I'll give you money to put that down. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Back in the cage, we got it nice and clean, real quick. Oh yeah, look, look at the hood right now. There we go. Let's get the light. Look at that. Woo! Ah. Oh. Of course, he put it back. Oh. Yeah, even the specs. Right, the, the just skin. gorgeous coloration popping through the yeah, brown. That's a good looking snake right there. Of course, you're gonna wrap around here like a little turd. There we go. Go back in your home, do it. There we go. In your home. Thank you. Perfect. Shake, sir. Here we go. Locked and secure. Kameo, hey, dude. How are you? Did you miss us while we were inside? Were you gonna chase me? Where's Timmy? Oh, Timmy's all the way out over there. That's why he's screaming, huh? Hey, Timmy. They just want you wherever you're at. Hey, guys. Hey, listen. Excuse me. We got work to do, okay? We're trying to work over here. You guys can't be following us everywhere, all right? We appreciate it, sir. Excuse me. Hey, hey you took my... You're eating my hair. Oh, well, you're eating my earrings. Hey, dude, excuse me. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Let's get out of here. All right, come on. Let's go. Oh. Run. Run from the camels. Gotta get away from Timmy. Oh my god, he's after me. Baby. Time to lure them. Come here, go that way. Ow, he's big. They're huge, bro. Big Great. old crunchers on them. Real big. And as they get older, they grow fangs in their mouth. They grow fangs? Yeah, they got fangs. They well, can like use sharp battle teeth? and grazing and whatnot. Wow. Yeah. That's gonna be scary. Yeah. <laughs> they have like the freakiest looking mouth. He was just chewing on my earlobes. Come on. Yeah, you gotta be careful. They like to eat earlobes. Come on, Kamayo. Follow me, boys. And this is how you move camels around. And I can give you all your carrot wishes. <laughs> oh, so funny. It's crazy to think that they are going to get way bigger still. That's wild. Follow your dad. Oh, he knows. Come yeah, he's like, dude, I don't wanna go in there. I'm gonna hang out with Tyler. Let's go back over here. Yeah, you don't wanna go in there? I don't go in there either. You sweet, sweet boy. Hello. How are you? Yes. Give you a kiss. Give you some kisses. You sweet, sweet boy. Come on, bro. This ain't easy. Come on. Let's go. Look. Come this way. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Timmy. Come on. Let's go. Come on. A little bit more. A little bit more. All right, you're good. You don't want to close it? Oh, no, 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 sir. You stay right here. Hey, I'm gonna close that gate. Oh my God, no, oh God, oh God he got out again. Ah, this is not easy at all. Well, that is it, my friends. It's enough dangerous stuff over here. So now we're gonna go get some lunch and we're gonna go do some more dangerous stuff Ooh. at my house. You hungry? I'll see you on the next one. I'm, I'm so hungry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you make this video end faster. Oh yeah. Follow your dreams, stay passionate, eat three meals a day. <laughs> and of course, TylerNolanTattoos.com for all of your merch. TylerNolanBooking at gmail.com to book your tours and tattoos. And I'll see y'all on the next one.